man said, This one at last is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. And this one, man, she was taken out of his side. He was, she was taken. Hence, a man will leave his father and mother and cling to his wife so they become one flesh. Ironically, in today's society where we have children in the home and one of the commandments that we're given is the fact that when a man leaves father and mother, they are to cleave to their wife. The idea behind this is to create a new family. So there are two basic ideas here that we need to focus on. Number one, man leaves father and mother, which means he's not going to be staying around and clinging on to the parents in order to start a new home. Rather, he is to cleave to his wife and leave his father and mother, which means a complete removal from the nurturing uh, home that he was in to create a new home. So they would become their own family, as it were, and be able to be unified as a family unit. Today's society, we are wrecked with all types of disorders as a result of not following through with his basic commandments. In certain communities, parents are completely uh, still involved in the life of their married children and bring a lot of problems to bear as a result. This is why the idea of completely leaving father and mother and cleaving to the wife becomes of great importance. And both of them were became one as a result. I hope that you uh, that's watching would understand what the message is being said here. Leave your father and your mother. Cleave to your wife. Priority becomes the wife. No longer at, at the cost of breaking up the family, the husband, wife, family, for the sake of keeping mommy and daddy uh, in your lives. Sometimes we have to cut our umbilical cord from our dependency of our parents in order to create our own home. This comes from this week's Torah portion. Shalom, shalom.